Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my first ever vlog. <laughs> Thank you for coming to watch. If you guys could give this video a thumbs up right now, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast, but before I do that, we're gonna go rave for about seven hours, throw it on the time lapse, and then we'll get started with breakfast. No, I'm just kidding. But every morning I do throw on some tunes just to get me amped up and motivated. So we're gonna do that right now. Speaker is in my resilient office. Gonna give you guys more of an inside look at this office after, but I'm gonna show you guys breakfast first. So y'all pick something good. Put this shit in. And we got Feel My Love. Throw this on shuffle on the sick cunt gym rave. Alright, so now that we got the tunes bumping, I'm gonna show you guys what I have for breakfast. For the most part, it's a smoothie, it's quick, it's easy, and I get all my nutrients in. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it. We got three berry blend. It doesn't really matter what you use. I mean, I just really like this one, it tastes good. Then I use this only nuts, smooth, all natural. This shit is horrible for putting on bread. And I mean, unless you want it spilling absolutely everywhere. So I just throw it into my smoothie. This little Activia yogurt, some oats, my banana, and then I just use the Beyond Yourself Isolate, throw one scoop in there and blend it all together in here with the magic bullet. So it's about 10 a.m. right now. I'm gonna start meal prepping. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. I'm just gonna show you what I'm cooking and like how I'm cooking it and basically like start to finish what I'm doing. So we're gonna start with what I'm gonna be using for meal prep. And for carbs, I'm gonna be using this Japanese rice. I always use it, it's really good. I mean, unless I'm cutting and I'm actually like trying to compete, I'm gonna use brown rice, but I want taste. I don't want something that's gonna taste like shit, especially if I'm gonna be cooking it for the whole week. And in terms of meat, I'm gonna show you that right now. All right guys, we have all the ingredients to become a sick cunt. So I'm gonna show you what those ingredients are right now and then we're gonna get cooking. So one packet chicken breast and then this extra chicken here. Not sure if I'm gonna use it yet. And then the extra lean ground beef, Japanese rice, the red peppers, and then the romaine lettuce. So this should be good for about 14 preps, but we'll see at the end. So let's start cooking it. So I've used six cups of rice in here. Gonna add the water in right away. Uh, that should be good for all the preps. Not sure, but I always wing it. So whatever, we'll see what happens. I have my chicken cooking right now. I'm gonna show you what spices I put on there. Every single batch that I put inside the pan, I'm adding one full lemon. Then I'm adding cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning. I love this stuff, it's unreal. No MSG added. Garlic powder, some pepper, and then I'm using olive oil as the base. And then over here, I already got my rice cooking. To always put it inside the rice is just a little bit of salt. So what I'm gonna do with the red peppers and romaine lettuce is slice it up, dice these like super fine, and I'm gonna put it into a container and kind of use it as a salad. So every time I take out one of my containers, I'm just gonna be putting that salad pretty much right on top and I'll be heating up the meal prep beforehand. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do and it should taste really good. I've done this one before, but um, just with the chicken and I'm gonna be adding the ground beef just for a little bit of extra meal preps and to give it something different So I cut up those two red peppers the romaine lettuce the full head I might cut up a little bit more peppers But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into this container throw it into the fridge and I'll usually drizzle like olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar on top of it So it's like a salad and it actually tastes really good especially with the one with the chicken I used to use frozen veggies, but honestly it just wasn't tasting good and it just got old real quick. Unless you take the veggies and then you obviously cook them. The good thing about it is it's super quick, so when I do need something that doesn't take time, I just go buy frozen veggies, toss them in the meal prep container. Ground beef cooking right now, 
once that is cooked all the way through, I'm actually gonna drain the grease. And I'm gonna be adding cumin, the cayenne pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of salt, some crushed tomatoes, paprika, and chili powder as well. So the cooking is done. Took about two hours. I'm gonna show you what everything looks like. It looks pretty fucking good. There's the chicken breast that I pan fried. Then there's the Japanese rice and a little bit of ground beef with like the tomato sauce. And then the veg that's just gonna stay over there so I'm not putting that inside the actual prep containers. I have majority of them with chicken and then I have these three with ground beef. In terms of measuring, don't really measure it right now. I'm eyeballing everything based on just my past. I've been, like, I've been meal prepping for four years. So every time I do make food, Unless I'm like prepping or really trying to shred down, I'm not gonna be counting. I'm just going off of what I know and what I know works for my body. So I've got one cup of rice for the most part. That's easy to measure, so I always do that. And then for the ground beef, that's also one cup. And then the chicken is eyeballed. So I also have this leftover ground beef and chicken. All I do with that is just put it into a container and leave it in the freezer for when I need next. So with these, meal prep containers, I'll do three days inside the fridge. Anything over three days is gonna be put into the freezer along with that extra meat. I usually eat three of these preps a day, sometimes four, depending on the day. I switch it up pretty much every week, whether it's um, the meat or the vegetables or whatever. Sometimes I even just change the taste. I just don't keep it the same every week because it also gets boring and repetitive. And I've been doing this for four years, so if I was eating the same damn thing, I would go absolutely insane. But meal prepping is honestly the best for keeping you in track, making sure you get your food and your macros and just making the most progress. Right now, this is my office where I do all the resilient work. Um, up there is actually still the relentless uh, logo, which was the name of my brand when I first started. And the reason I still have that up is because it's honestly a good way to look back at where I started and the mistakes I made and what I've learned from there. So it's more of like the growth. So I like to look at that every morning when I do come in here and start my work. It's a big motivational factor. So I'm gonna get into my brand more another time, but this is pretty much my office. So I just have my apparel here, um, some of it. Uh, I have a bunch in the basement actually, which is where all the hoodies are. Some shakers over there, and then that little table there is where I do all the packaging for you guys. I got my desk with my computer and the speaker where I'm always bumping the tunes. If this speaker is not on, something is wrong. Thanks for watching my video guys. Um, I honestly really appreciate it. This is my first time ever vlogging, so I'm hoping to make a bunch of more vlogs and just get better as the time goes on. But thanks a lot for viewing it and I hope you guys give it a thumbs up.